watch. watch Look at that. This is the most active during the day that I've seen. Oh, there goes the Xbox, too. Wait a minute. You hear that? Oh, I'm not liking watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, wow. Wait. I swear I can see. Ooh, stop it. That were containers. That's how, that's how supposedly the aliens look at us. That we are nothing but containers. Containers of? Containers. Maybe containers of souls. You can come up with whatever theory you want. That we're containers. And that's how we're mentioned in the document. Um, that religion was... The United States government has never, out of all the money they have spent, has never ever built bunkers for the people of this country. This I inform you that America and China have declared war, and a massive nuclear attack is expected to reach our shores within the hour. <laughs> Welcome back to the coolest channel on YouTube, man. Look. We got an amazing video in store for y'all here today. I just need y'all to do me a couple favors. Smash that like button. Let's get it to 20,000. Share this with your friends and family. Put those notifications on always. You know what I'm saying? Look, good vibes only. You know what I'm saying? We don't tolerate none of the BS. But you know what I'm saying? We built a beautiful community here, man. And I wish y'all nothing but abundance and blessings in y'all life. But look, man, good vibes only. Just know if you feeling bad about life, we're going through this thing called life together. You never in it by yourself. Also, make sure y'all doing your own research. Never believe anything y'all seeing these videos make sure y'all determine this to be real for yourself don't believe anything you see here you know what i'm saying make sure you do your own research also remember i'm still giving away three people five hundred dollars each and that's gonna be it uh just make sure y'all got your notifications on that's all i gotta tell y'all so i want to remind you again the united states government has never and all the money they have spent has never ever built bunkers for the people of this country. They have their bunkers and they spend our money to build them, but they didn't build us one. And World War III is about to kick off if you didn't notice. Everybody on the planet is gearing up for war and the shit's about to fly. We don't have anywhere to run, folks, and they want us to fight the war for them while they run in their bunkers and hide. I say send a pipeline of water and smoke into those goddamn bunkers and bring those little rat bastards up out of there so they can join in the fucking fun they're leaving for all of us. Absolutely. Hey, I, 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 I'm, I'm with I'm. Hey, let me know in the comments down below. Y'all with him? Like, <laughs> y'all not going to leave us out here with this bullshit. You feel me? Put y'all on the front line. Six ways to avoid being relocated into a FEMA camp. Now you might want to share this with everyone because we're probably going to need to know this information very soon. Number one, be prepared enough to not need to seek out resources. This is definitely the best advice I can give you. Most people going to FEMA are seeking them out for basic supplies and probably did not prepare enough in advance for the disaster or emergency. Even if you plan on scavenging for resources, being out and about can increase your exposure to being rounded up by National Guard unit and escorted to a FEMA camp. At the very least, you should have a basic survival kit so you can be self-reliant and not need to seek out help. Number two, stay out of locations that have a high risk of mandatory evacuation. You can usually tell ahead of time what areas could be prone to a mandatory evacuation. Is your home vulnerable to a nuclear incident? Is it in an urban area or near a military base that could be targeted by attacks? All of these are examples of where mandatory evacuation could be put in place. So knowing your risk of these threats can help you see the potential for evacuations. Mandatory evacuation areas usually spawn FEMA camps just outside the evacuation area to house all the evacuees. If at all possible, try to have a better plan than being funneled into one of these camps. Number three. Mark your home with a FEMA marking telling search and rescue it was already evacuated. If you want to get real clever, you can mark your home as if it was already visited by a search and rescue unit. Relatively simple and all you need is a can of spray paint. Pair this marking with good light and noise discipline and your home could be skipped over easily by anyone enforcing a mandatory evacuation. Build yourself a good shelter in place kit so you have less need to evacuate in a biological or chemical emergency. Now don't get me wrong, sometimes you just have to leave. 
If there's a chemical cloud hanging over your house or a nasty pandemic spreading through the country like wildfire, it may be necessary to bug out if you don't have the proper tools to stay put. Shelter in place kit is simply an add on to your typical survival kit that lets you barricade airflow in your home, making it as airtight as possible. Have a bug out location that is not your main residence. I can't stress enough. As we touched earlier, location plays a big factor in the risk of being evacuated. Having multiple locations available ensures you don't get pinned down in one spot. Not many people have resources to own multiple properties, so making friends with preppers not in your area comes in handy here. If you don't have any prepper friends that live far enough away, try helping a few non-prepper friends become preppers. Last but not least, stay informed. Know what's going on before a roundup occurs. Information is always key. Communication is passing the information back and forth. While news sources on TV and the radio can be managed and censored, amateur radio cannot. Staying informed during an emergency using CB and ham radios can help immensely. Not only can you stay ahead of any planned evacuations, but you can communicate with others to work together. Now I know this one was a little on the longer side, but I wanted it to all be in one video. Please share with everyone, AP out. My man has amazing plans, you know what I'm saying? How many of y'all got contingency plans, you know? You have to have more than one, two or three. You have to always know how to do and evolve so you can protect your family. But look, let me know in the comments down below. Don't tell us where you're going to be and none of that stuff. This is only for you and your family, you feel me? And the people that you care about. So just let me know if y'all got one. Let me know. Say I got one. Simple. Just keep it like that. We're doing roll call. So just in case, email from a lady. not saying that anything will happen, I'm just saying in that case of any type of disaster that you'll be okay. You know what I'm saying? This is for the people, you know? In Texas, in response to my video about Hamas and everything I, I get is anonymous. I never say the name, but she's from a little town in Texas. And she said, I just saw your video about Hamas. I just wanted to say here in the last couple of weeks in my little town, which is a military town, the trains have been running at night like crazy. She says, I work overnight downtown close to a hospital. She said, we, have a, we also have a military airport. I'm omitting the name of the town and the airport from the email because I don't want to put that out there. She said, um, we've been getting a lot of military jets that have been coming in. I live five minutes from it, so I see every plane and helicopter. They won't talk about it, but they keep telling everyone to be prepared. And the, the military are having secret meetings. The veterans are coming together. Um, having secret meetings and they've even put personnel at the hospital on alert. So that's what she said's going down in Texas right now. Witness, I inform you that America and China have declared war, and a massive nuclear attack is expected to reach our shores within the hour. <laughs> that's the sort of hypothetical emergency today's disaster preparedness drill is designed to get us ready for. <laughs> All Springfielders should now move off the streets and inside their homes. Please avoid the superstitious panic which marked the recent lunar eclipse. Sorry, Dad. I was afraid the dragon wouldn't cough the moon back up. You idiot! The dragon always coughs the moon back up. I know it's futile, but I must again point out, there is no dragon. Then why am I paying $800 a year in dragon insurance? Again, I maintain that money would be better spent on car insurance. Lisa, everyone knows dragons do not attack cars. Jeez, pick up a book. <laughs> I pick up books like you pick up beers. Then you have a serious reading problem. Now remember, this is only a drill. Ah, the missiles really are coming. The so-called drill is just a way to get you into your shelters without causing total chaos. Is what I would say if this were to drill. Now we're supposed to stay down in our storm cellar for three hours. So do your farting now. Homie, what if that was the last thing you ever said? Don't worry, my last words will be, I can outrun that lion. <sighs> <laughs> All right, everybody in. All right, who's the Weisenheimer that's been eating the powdered food? Not me. <laughs> Two can play at that game. I can do this! I can do this!
Boy, I told you an hour ago, stop that! But Bunker Bowl is keeping us sane! Do we really have to sit here the whole time? I mean, if we went out now, it might be cool to see the town empty. Yeah, I could sneak into the school and write whatever I want on the chalkboard. I could see a planetarium show without the secondhand marijuana. And I can drive drunk while I'm actually sober. Imagine another TV program that predicted the future. Yeah, actually, for two or three years now, Chiquita and I have had this very unpleasant feeling that we really should get out. That we really should feel like Jews in Germany in the late 30s. Get out of here. Of course, the problem is where to go, because it seems quite obvious that the whole world is going in the same direction. See, I think it's quite possible that the 1960s represented the last burst of the human being before it was extinguished and that this is the beginning of the rest of the future now, that from now on, there'll simply be all these robots walking around, feeling nothing, thinking nothing. And there'll be nobody left almost to remind them that there once was a species called a human being with feelings and thoughts, and that history and memory are right now being erased, and soon nobody will really remember that life existed on the planet. Imagine it's not just the Simpsons that make predictions. Tad O'Malley has been making claims. Claims about what? Hey, the X-Files is like, yo, let me know, man. Did y'all grow up watching the X-Files, man? This is where it started for most people, you feel me? To start looking at the world different like, nigga, what? <laughs> you feel me? Let me know in comments down below if y'all used to rock with the X-Files, man, or if you still do. You know, you know they had came back out at one point, right? I think this is the update right here. But look, check this out, though. Very interesting. You know, it's like predictive programming. You know, The Simpsons done, done predicted a lot of stuff way before it happened. But, you know, they said that this is a movie. Everybody's playing a role. What role are you playing? You and everyone you know has a piece of DNA in your genome put there without your knowing it. Put there by whom? Pay That's attention. That's the question of the day. This is an internet lunatic. You're not saying you believe him. Hold on, Agent Einstein. You're talking to a scientist. Uh, forgive me, Assistant Director. It may sound insensitive, but the suggestion is pure science fiction. What I'm saying, Agent Einstein, is that the facts, as I understand them, cannot be discounted out of hand. No one has the right or the ability to tamper with your DNA. Unless we gave them that ability. When you say they're tampering with our DNA, that they're able to shut down our immune systems by the addition of something to our DNA. Yes, but I don't know how exactly. Or how it's being triggered. I don't know that either. Or why it's happening now. What can we possibly do? We need to act quickly. You were right about that. Well, I was wrong about the science. I was wrong about what's causing it. Dead wrong, in fact. It, but it's clearly a widespread failure of our immune systems. Through gene tampering. A virus within a virus that was put there through the smallpox vaccine. It's what these men are calling the Spartan virus. We have to figure this out. What's wrong with the science? Okay. The Spartan virus removes the adenosine deaminase gene from your DNA. It removes the ADA gene and your immune system will simply vanish. Yeah, but I'm not getting sick. It's only a matter of time. Okay. So how does it work? How does the virus remove the ADA gene? A process called CRISPR-Cas9. CRISPR -Cas9. RNA and a protein cutting genes at exact locations. Exactly. But in this instance, used as a weapon. The ultimate weapon. The ability to depopulate the planet. To kill everyone but the chosen. By tampering with their DNA. Through gene editing. Why do such a thing and lie about it? Our own government. Your own government lies as a matter of course, as a matter of policy. The Tuskegee experiments on black men in the 30s, Henrietta Lacks. What are they trying to do? That's the missing piece. But it's not hard to imagine. A government hiding, hoarding technology for 70 years at the expense of human life and the future of the planet. Driven not only by corporate greed, but a darker objective. The takeover of America. And then the world itself, by any means necessary, however violent, or cruel, or efficient. By severe drought, 
brought on by weather wars, conducted secretly using aerial contaminants and high-altitude electromagnetic waves in a state of perpetual war to create problem, reaction, solution scenarios to distract, enrage, and enslave American citizens at home with tools like the Patriot Act and the National Defense Authorization Act, which abridge the Constitution in the name of national security. The militarization of police forces in cities across the U.S., the building of prison camps by the Federal Emergency Management Agency with no stated purpose, the corporate takeover of food and agriculture, pharmaceuticals and healthcare, even the military in clandestine agendas to fatten, dull, sicken, and control a populace already consumed by consumerism. And I encourage you all to go shopping more. A government that taps your phone, collects your data, and monitors your whereabouts with impunity. A government preparing to use that data against you when it strikes. And the final takeover begins. The takeover of America. By a well-oiled and well-armed multinational group of elites that will cull, kill, and subjugate. Happening as we sit here. It's happening all around us. The other shoe waiting to drop. The banks will announce a security action necessitating their computers to go offline all weekend. Digital money will disappear. They can just steal your money? Followed by the detonation of strategic electromagnetic pulse bombs to knock out major grids. What well, will seem like an attack on America by terrorists or Russia. An invasion of the U.S. The Russians tried it in 47. We could just end the video right here. Look. <laughs> That was a lot, right? Look, all the stuff that I've been putting out here, man, strategically in a, in a line for y'all, man, to like get people to open their eyes and see. See, these is not just random videos. That's just I throw in a compilation. These are like, yeah, they're telling you a story, and this is this is it's wild, man. Predictive programming is right here in your face. But what have we been seeing correlating with real life? These are not just theories. We can actually. Go out here in the real world and see what's happening, and it's happening like they're saying it on the TV shows as well. But look, it's crazy, right? I know a lot of y'all just had that moment like, ooh, I know I like these videos, but damn. You feel me? Let's get back to it, though, y'all. Woo. You got to think, man. Like, they got all these people coming over there. Who are they going to have, bro? Like, come against us. They sending them over here. The Border Patrol, we already seen them arguing with each other. Because they're letting people over here, but they saying, oh, we're still taking drugs off the streets and stuff, but y'all still letting illegals over here. Y'all giving them money, place to stay. Meanwhile, we got people living on the street. Let's get back to it, though. Crazy. You wouldn't believe me if I told you, so I'm going to have to show you. Clouds are falling out of the sky again. This is somewhere in Nigeria. Do y'all remember a few weeks ago where I showed you the clouds falling out of China? And then there was somewhere in America as well. Guys, what does this mean? Does this mean the simulation is falling? Oh my God. Like, share, and follow for more for videos like this. And also keep up with me and my other platform. Let's go follow my bro. Go follow bro. Bro talk, go support. Check out what has happened. Look at this over here. Come take a look at this. So apparently this was done due to the solar eclipse. This is Texas. Uh, so people in Texas, I need you guys to confirm. Look what the eclipse has done. Crazy. This is fascinating. Look at that, y'all. What a truly beautiful time to be alive. This pole shift is going to shift a lot of things for a lot of us. And this is for the better. I want y'all to see that. Look at this. It's like water, right? Underwater, right? 
look at this. These are different clips. Wow, look at that. Message. talked about the earth being flat for a long time right let's get into it just like every other day i need to go to outer space what's out in outer space oh and they never make it no nope. rocket shit hits the firmament and the firmament stops it ain't nobody been to the moon ain't nobody been outside this giant cage we're trapped in the firmament is real this is why rocket ships take off and they start shooting at an angle. And this is why, you know, the sheeple out there still will listen to them say that we don't have the technology to go to the moon. But then another country, what was it, India or something like that, that's just say that they just landed on the moon like a couple months ago. <laughs> it's crazy. They never landed on that joint, man. Let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments down below. They'll scrape the firmament and they always land in the ocean. Then they shoot some grainy film that they were on the moon. He scraped the surface of the firmament, landed. It's only one day, but the landing is like a week later. But that's when they show it. All the shit happened in one day. There's no satellites out there either, nigga. There's, there's no satellites. You know, right, so they have so many departments that break off. So how does the shit say when it lands? Yeah. Same shit takes off. Or even the satellite. No, there's no satellites. They are hanging satellites in the firmament. This is a GPS system. And that's the permanent GPS system. They call it space. But the space between Earth and God is called the firmament. And until he opens that up, uh, it's going to be continued. Firmament. That's called the firmament. It's in the Bible. Nothing will get through the firmament. Flat Earth is real. Hey, the world is not round. If it was, I, I could disprove this many, many times. But anyway, uh, there's an ice wall around our three-dimensional world called Earth that lays on two-dimensional plane. Okay. But we're trapped in the center on this planet in an ice wall. This is why, if you fly from anywhere on Earth to Australia, I know, to Antarctica, why do you always have to fly to England? To make it seem like the world is round, you had to travel that far. From Florida, Antarctica is about four, four and a half hours on a straight shot. So why the fuck you got to fly from Florida to London and then there? Anywhere you come from, you got to go to London and then London and then London and then there. No, you're going to uh, London because the reptilians there said you must come through there. message hey my man's been talking about this for the longest he's one of the few brave ones that you know actually speak about it but you know uh we got to think about it though like the firmament has been 
like even look at the government uh symbols and stuff like that they got a flat earth and everything y'all so look and then ch check this out too you know just think about it like this this is an incubator for us to grow our consciousness level and once we get to that certain level you know maybe we might be able to join our galactic families at some point you know but we ain't there yet because obvious things is going on right here we still fighting over bullshit colors and you know uh you look like this i look like this you know um you know petty stupid material things but it is what it is though man you know what i'm saying someday we'll get there we working on it here right I see. <laughs> what you see? What you see? That's real too. Hey, just like um, yeah. Did y'all check out the uh, eclipse? So if you checked out the eclipse, like I'm gonna bring this up. You probably didn't notice it. That you can't see the moon before it goes in front, the quote unquote moon before it goes in front of the sun. Why is that? Somebody answer that in the comments down below. It's gonna be somebody that, oh, it's because of this. That's because somebody told you that. But what we see is completely different. It doesn't make sense. It's, it, it's logically just doesn't make sense. What they say when Nibiru come back, it's gonna be like a dragon. What that look like? Fairies live there. Definitely. Whoa. Whoa. So it started out with this. It was supposed to be a fire pit. And then a uh, mushroom started growing around it. Mushrooms could have gone anywhere. Giant yard. Right? Giant yard. Could have gone anywhere. We've been here for about two and a half months. Yep. And they've been here for about two years. And no mushrooms. But then when she started building a fire pit, some fairies decided that, oh, it's a gift. It's supposed to be a community center. So mushrooms started growing. So we decided to help build this community better. So we're putting rocks around it. We're going to make this a little teepee hut. And we're going to put some more colors. And it's going to be a nice fairy garden. I have to say this. <laughs> yeah, look, I have to say this. Uh, ain't no fairies at your damn house. And if it was, you know what? Look, they just probably trying to help y'all asses out. Because y'all a little bit slow over there. I don't know where y'all at. But y'all need to stop, like, uh, interbreeding. Because that's, that, that, that's wild, man. Because uh, why would you put the fire pit so close to your house? You're going to burn your damn house down. They're just trying to help you out. Appreciate the fairies, man. Shout out to the fairies out here in the world, man. Y'all here doing a damn thing. Y'all saved them from a damn disaster. Y'all gotta watch this. Say it again. Y'all gotta watch this. Dude. Prove, prove that you're here. Look at this. Entity. Why do you keep turning off the TV? Look at this entity. Oh. Just keep hey, watching. Hey, Come here. It's a nice crib. I ain't gonna hold you. I le look. I ain't rocking with that. <laughs> Literally, like no pun intended. That's crazy. No, I can't. I can't deal with that. <laughs> I don't think it's just down here. Watch. Watch. Look at that. This is the most active during the day that I've. Seen. Oh, there goes the Xbox too. Wait a minute. You hear that? Oh, I'm not liking Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Oh wow. Wait. I swear I can see. Ooh, stop it. What the fuck? I'm not liking that. 
Hun, let's go to dinner or something for a while. What's going on, y'all? Time to go. What's going on? I understand they got a beautiful house and everything, but that'd be the end of the road. I try to sell that shit. I ain't gonna tell nobody that's a ghost in it either. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's just gonna have <laughs> somebody gonna inherit those problems. I'm gonna sell that house for five dollars. Who gonna who gonna take it? Check this shit out. Watch. Karen see across. Look. Look at the UFO up in there, dude, through the microscope. What? So many hidden symbols, man. No one knows. Hidden in plain sight. Ready? Bam! Look at this. What's that look like? Ready? Keeps going. This is good. This is good. This is, good. This is, this is entertaining. Check this out. Jump on the top. <laughs> Zip. Look at this. Markings. Check this out. Ready? Wham. Voila! And we didn't make an agreement or know about these things. They were printing them in secrecy and the money. Look. Why don't you just get a plane and fly over its ice wall, stupid flurther? Hey, that's why they think we're stupid as a collective, man. Like, stuff like that. We, 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 we letting shit ride, bro. We can't because this is what would happen. Dumb globe trolls. Funny how all these agencies have fled Earth maps as their logo. Just saying. Okay, with this Cessna and the Air National Guard, I'm going to be inside of this Cessna and we're going to be going rogue. We're going to fly into that no-fly zone and we're going to see how the Air National Guard does it. They scramble the fighter jets to come right Hang on, we're off. Flying for miles and miles until... Okay, we just entered the no-fly zone now. Our pilots aren't talking to air traffic control, ignoring their calls to reach them. That triggers an alarm at the Air National Guard base. These fighter pilots scrambling to their jets. They're on alert and ready to take action 24 hours a day. Today, racing to their F-16s, suiting up, climbing on board, and rushing to the runway. Taking off to intercept our rogue Cessna. Reaching the target in just minutes. This is the view from the F-16. That's my Cessna right there. Devastating as you would think it would be. Look at that fighter jet. He's right off our wing. Another F-16 swooping in on the right, calling us on aviation frequencies. You have to hang up that if you hear the transmission, not the radio call and rock your wing. He wants us to identify ourselves. We're a rogue aircraft, remember, for this demonstration, so we're not going to respond at all and see what this fighter jet is. ordered to turn to the northwest. The fighter jet giving us one last warning. After all of this, the pilots still won't listen. The plane won't leave the airspace. Will you shoot them down? If required, we'll execute the rules of engagement per the commander of the North American Aerospace Defense Command. And yes, we would do that. Shoot the plane down. If it meets the rules of engagement, yes, we would, to defend the airspace. Entering restricted airspace. You are warned to turn away immediately. If you do not follow these instructions, you may be fired upon. Thanks for watching. Like, follow, and comment for more content like this. So, uh, I got a question for you. Why didn't they respond like that when the Chinese balloon came over here? But they would respond to this over there like that. Y'all tracking? <laughs> Let's get back to it. This is crazy. Think about it. Let that shit over here. Actual, unedited footage of the March 2015 solar eclipse. What are these mysterious orbs around the sun? Well, all is going to be explained. You should watch this till the end. It's rare and not seen by many. Let me explain in a bit more detail. In 1947, director from a French observatory showed a series of calculations and observations that led him to conclude the following. There is at least one non-luminescent celestial body of considerable size wandering the skies alongside the sun, moon, and planets. 
the astronomer and mathematician, Sir John Herschel, admitted there are invisible moons in our skies. Could this be what he is referring to? He also stated that it's becoming more known that the stars are accompanied by large orbs that never emit any light. Next, you will see the footage from a travel company who organized a flight of 50 people to see the eclipse at 40,000 feet. Of the sun took place, and the Travel Quest International Company organized a flight of 50 people to observe this phenomenon from the North Atlantic, and this is where the subject gets interesting. Several passengers filmed the totality of the eclipse, and the recordings show black orbs, orbs without light around the sun. And one of these orbs was covering the sun at the moment of the eclipse. Total solar eclipse, March 20th, 2015. And here we can see a nice view through the window. And this is what I wanted to see, something real. And something nice and up there, not from our perspective. And here we go. Boom. Now they come into view. The orbs. The orbs that I've spoken about seeing. Orbs that can actually move independently, but otherwise move as fixed stars. And I told you of the one that flew over my head and then just parked. Parked in its position and just appeared to be a star. And of course we have things we are told that orbit in opposition. And here's an example. Here's four of them moving in opposition. And what I find fascinating is if this is true, which I believe it is, it seems a lot more plausible than anything I've ever heard on the subject. That means that the stars, or at least some of them, may actually move in front of the sun. And it's certainly the case here with these four plus orbs. And here we can see it passing, and now we see the eclipse. And we still see the three underneath it, absolutely amazing and again this was a group of photographers it's not just one photographer and here he helps highlight this really showing you a lot of the points that many people might want to refute such as the smudges on the window and then he highlights these orbs so we can clearly see the way they move and this just ties right into my last video where I was showing Emily Suzanne's time-lapse of the luminaries and how they all just moved like a clock. And this just all rings so true to me. All of the images I'd ever seen, even all the stuff on this platform that will pop up in the first few pages of searching, is all BS, just showing a false picture, doctored up. And this is what always perplexed me, is why I couldn't see the moon before. Even this last eclipse that I saw when I was working at the hospital. Why did I not see the moon approaching it? Well, that makes Facts. sense now. It was essentially an invisible orb until it reached this point, And then again became invisible. And again, we have proof now that the moon has been out in historical records. We have proof that it's not the moon causing the eclipses, that there are other moons or luminaries that perhaps have burnt out, but still continue their path, true and predictable. And I had no doubt everything was going to tie in together. All of this, the history, the realm, the orbs. And then this creator explains that these were the images that were posted to the news from the same flight. And they were BS images. They had edited out the rest of the orbs. And again, even before I got to this point and to this video, so many of the videos were also edited. Certainly anything with over 100,000 views. And I was looking for videos with very little views. Very amateur. But even then, I couldn't find what I've discovered here. And we've since seen lots of charts examining the old world. And even the clock in Prague doing a better job of explaining what's going on in a working model. The Royal Astronomical Society in June of 1850 wrote, We must seriously doubt that the moon is the only satellite of the Earth. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and follow at Mike Priest ARR for more content like this. Hey, look, the truth is more... Hey, the truth is more weird than the fix than than uh, what we've been presented with all our lives, man. Like, 
it, 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 it's crazy. But look, check this out, though. Check this out. How many of y'all was out there watching it? I know I did. And I actually recorded it, too, as well. I, I should post some pictures, but I don't know, man. It brings a lot of heat with that type of stuff. They don't want that to be out. But me and my children, we recorded it, and we we zoomed in. We had filters and everything, and you can see what's out there, people. Uh, I mean, you just got to get out here for yourself, man. Stop being locked into your cell phones and to all this stuff that don't matter, man. Really start tapping in. Really, I'm talking about put your feet in the ground, man. You know what I'm saying? Ground with the earth, man. Start really getting attached to what's really going on so you can shift with the earth. You know what I'm saying? Your frequencies, your mindset, and everything. But look, it's crazy out here in these streets, yo. Go ahead, do your own research, man. It's crazy. The truth is more strange. It's only strange because you've been lied to. Religion. You, you saw some other reports that you... Yeah, uh, religious documents. Uh, well, pretty hard to, to swallow. It's very hard to swallow. Saying, basically, that... Uh, basically, that we're a product of genetic engineering from someone... Yeah. Yeah, how, but how can you just swallow that whole? Well, how can you swallow any of that stuff? So oh, pause, pause, pause. You can put your hands on the touch and, and then work with it, no problem. But when you get into uh, a lot of spiritual stuff and religion, and you know, you were brought here and this is, we were made by, you know, progressive corrections and evolution and that sort of thing, and uh, where it shoots down a lot of the established religions, Catholicism, and, and, and everything that, you know, essentially you're. It's a tough thing to accept, and you know why, without you know hardcore proof, why even why even bring it up? I, I guess the question more should deal with that you actually read a report that said this stuff. Well, yeah, the only hardcore thing is that there is a extremely classified document dealing with religion, and it's about that thing. Period. But why would there be any classified material dealing with religion? That's the only thing you can say. What other kinds of classified? Autopsy. No, that wasn't the last one. I want to go back to the religion thing. I want you to say it. <laughs> oh, come on, that's so weird. That does a lot. That's I'm not asking you to say what you believe to be a fact. I'm asking you to say what you read in a report that is, a, a, that is distributed at what may be the most top secret facility in the world. Okay. All right. Um, All right, I'll say it. It's just, it's so, it's so far out, it's, it's, uh, All right, it's your objection has been noted. Okay. What does it say? That we're containers. That's how, that's how supposedly the aliens look at us. That we are nothing but containers. Containers of? Containers. Maybe containers of souls, you can come up with whatever theory you want, that we're containers. And that's how we're mentioned in the document. Um, that religion was specifically created so we have some rules and regulations for the sole purpose of not damaging the container. The souls, meaning? Well, the souls or the bodies or whatever. I just, that meaning just like we're, uh, we're containers for souls that they're going to use at some other point. Right. And that they had something to do with uh, pro different prophets and, and biblical figures. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, that, that uh, supposedly, uh, Jesus and two other uh, two other beings were genetically engineered. They were implanted in people on Earth in biblical times, and their uh, births were closely monitored. Now, just some little connections to that that my wife had brought up were um, uh, in the Bible. They said that uh, uh, the star had followed Mary. Uh, wherever she went, and uh, you know that all UFO sightings always start out with people. Well, gee, that looks like a bright star, and uh, well, in fact, they said in the Bible, the brightest star in the sky followed her where she went, and uh, it just made little connections like that. Uh, okay, I don't know what else to uh, all right. touch on about. We uh, we were talking about how uh, containers, containers. I ain't nobody goddamn container. Remember how they be saying, like, oh, when people pass, you know, they harvesting souls with the moon and stuff? Like, how y'all feel about that theory right there? 
Do y'all think it's like a soul harvester or, or redirects your souls back here? Or does it just suck your soul up and, you know what I'm saying, you just trapped for eternity? Is that what they talking about? Oh, that got me going. You feel me? Like, container? I'm about to mess this container up then. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. What y'all think he mean by that in the comments down below, though? Real talk. Yeah. Why were they gathering eggs and this? And they, they they told me they were making a hybrid race. And for what? Uh, they didn't want, I wanted to know for what, but they never, never gave an inkling of what it was for, of what this hybrid race would be doing, where it would be, or what. My grandfather died in 1940. So this was in the 1930s when these things were happening with them. She said they would be sitting on the side porch at night and they would see lights over the oil wells. And a lot of times they would see what they thought were little children dressed in white running around the oil wells. And on several times they saw it in the daytime, they would see these little children dressed in white. And once or twice they got up to go see if they could catch the little children and find out who they were and they would start out but by the time they would get there the children would be gone. The main concept was creating a hybrid breed. At least that's what they told me that they were going they were trying to create a race of people that could live in our atmosphere and in their atmosphere. And they had not yet produced that person that sound like that movie titan when they was trying to get people get, trying to have a hybrid create a hybrid the government was trying to create a hybrid to go to another planet to inhabit because this one was you know becoming uninhabitable but they could sustain here and there it's crazy go watch that movie netflix now on another occasion i remembered being shown a baby that really favored my grandson a lot. If you would, you know, give it the slant eyes, they weren't as big as their eyes, but it looked human. And I knew that this was my child and I wanted to take that child with me, but they said that it would not be able to live in this atmosphere. Well, I know that, that it was physical because if I did not get out of that car, where did I get all that dirt that was up to here on me? If I just stepped out of the car and looked up because we were on pavement. So it's no way that I could have got that much dirt on me just standing outside a car on the street looking. And that's the first thing that let me know that it was real. And beside this not, which might be, you know, it, it, you could say that it could be anything. Uh, the bruises are real. Nobody is beating me up in my sleep. Because if anybody hit me that hard, I would wake up. And the places where I have the bruises, I couldn't give them to myself. And like I said, if I bumped into something that hard, I would certainly remember it. So it's real to me. It's not really a, a, a frightening, frightening experience. It's just, it happens and it doesn't leave you frightened. I think the thing that frightened me the most was that I was not consciously aware of what had happened. And I did not know what to put these ships with. I didn't have anything concrete to say, well, they're coming to do this or that. I just had the frightening feeling. And after I found out what had happened, I was at peace with what had happened, knowing that there's nothing that I can do about it, because I cannot stop them. Nobody can stop them from doing what they want to do. Nobody on this earth, because they are too far advanced mentally and technologically for we don't have a defense at all. Yeah, like they do magic. 
yeah, they could come in today and take over if that was their desire. But like I said, I don't feel that it's their desire to take over through violence, and they don't care about governments. See, government control is not their thing. They want bodies, and they want minds that are going to do what they want the minds to do, but they need the bodies to do whatever it is with. And that's where we come in. I believe her. Y'all let me know in the comments down below. Do y'all believe her or not? There's certain people that speak. You can tell when they just making up stuff, pulling it out their ass. But Mabel seemed like she was uh, being legit. Y'all just let me know how y'all feel about it. You elected your parents when you came here. You put yourself in situations that would challenge your soul to remember again. Every single incident you went through in your life, you chose those events. When they tell you that God is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, he knows all things, you do. You knew every event that was going to transpire, you chose your storyline before you came here. And being a rising ascendant master, you chose a storyline that would challenge you to remember again. This is why most spiritual people go through the worst shit. All the chosen ones do. You all are chosen ones. You different. You the one. Look, I'm going through some shit. Like, I've been going through it for the past, like, what, like eight years. And it's been terrible dealing with this person. But you know what? At the end of the day, man, everything is going to be good when you're living in your purpose, man. And you know what's on the other side for you. You know what's waiting on you. You know who you are. You know, then you'll start to understand a little deeper. You know, not a person, not a negative person can influence and derail your life. But, yeah, let's get back to it. That Christ-like energy that they talk about in Jesus' story, that's you. That's why I always told you, Jesus isn't real, but the story it is. That's you. Now, to understand why, what makes you a rising ascended master, you have to understand what an ascended master is. Most of the ascended masters are teachers all throughout the galaxy, all throughout the multiverse. You are a natural born healer. You are a natural teacher. That's your purpose. And we have galactic codes. So we have, although we are Anunnaki gods and goddesses, that's headquarters. Why do you think I always say Sirius X is headquarters? That's headquarters. But from headquarters, we spread all throughout the multiverse to go on different tasks. And ascended masters are the adepts of the cosmos able to communicate with all different forms of life that's a tribe we have a we have millions upon millions of different tribes cosmic tribes when you think of a tribe you think about the goddamn indians you see you think about the cherokee which is us but that's the physical tribes we not on we not on earth right now we in the constellations in this lecture i'm talking to you about the cosmic tribes and you have ascended masters being so advanced, you have them, your ascended masters. Some of the ascended masters elect to come down into this physical embodiment right now because planet Kai is the last planet that has yet to be freed from the grasp of these cosmic pirates that we know as draconian reptilians, alpha draconian reptilians to be exact, and Pleiadians, along with some of the Arcturians. But you have to be very careful with that. This is why we have to get familiar with our cosmic family today in this lecture so that you are not fooled by malevolent beings posing as your cosmic family because they are back. So you have to know the difference because you got a bunch of malevolent, powerful beings too. Tricksters that will come to you in meditation, that will come to you while working magic, that will come to you why are you trying to pray to something? Because they understand you have no clue. You have re you have forgotten all about 
your true history simple you've been living with Timon and Pumbaa <laughs> down here thinking you you <laughs> yeah I told you we gonna be laughing about this shit an energy cycle from now yeah yeah I'm like man them niggas had us down there think we was human beings believing in life and death and time and we thought that was the last we thought earth was it <laughs> all these curses all these spells like YOLO you only live once in one life with them all curses and spells and because you don't remember the cosmos you can't see nothing past this realm Do you think walking barefoot on Earth is just some made-up hippie hocus pocus? One is in the ground, the minus. And the plus I have here. And now I'm wearing shoes, sort of. Yeah, I'm not connected with the ground. So I touch the red pin. So what is, does it say? One or sometimes zero. And look, when I touch my feet with my feet the ground, what happens? Uh-huh. Up. And up. Think about it. When you wear shoes. <laughs> that's why I don't do it anymore. And that's why, you know, a lot of people, Dre, that's cap, you know what I'm saying? Grounding, whoop, whoop, whoop. Y'all are idiots i'm just gonna say that right now you're just a complete fucking idiot you listen to stupid stuff all the time get hip with the cool kids over here it's cool to talk about all this science nerd stuff now you feel me but you have to actually get something from it sometimes and you can go out here yourself and go do this it's been proven medically too as well you know like go out here and ground man it helps you out a lot raise those vibrations you know it stops some people from it's trick your friends man go Go, go, go have them stand in the grass with their feet, you know what I'm saying? It'll, it'll loosen them up, you know what I'm saying? And loose, decalcify their pineal gland so they can stop being idiots, you know what I'm saying? And then we we can just raise the vibrations on this planet and become a better people, you know? Cheers. People, people know about love and hip-hop, but they can't tell you about grounding. They don't know nothing Next about that. a short video showing. In they know about being toxic and shit, but they don't know nothing about this. Like, those are the people we got to start leaving in the dust. You know what I'm saying? People that don't add anything positive to your life, you know? More detail. How grounding protects our bodies from harmful EMF radiation. And a more in-depth experiment. Enjoy. So this is really what the human body is meant to be at. It's meant to be at a very low voltage, very close to Earth. But what I'm concerned about is when I go inside or I'm standing near power lines, what's going to happen to the voltage in my body. So let's go and have a look at that. So now I've changed location. I'm out the front of my house and I'm standing under power lines. So is it possible for these power lines to, through induction, send electricity into my body? We're going to find out in a, in a moment. So I've got my multimeter. I'm going to hold the end of it. And I'm at like 0.6. So I, my body has now got, instead of being 0.006, we're at 0.6. So I'm I've got a, that's a lot more electricity coming into my body simply by standing under these power lines. So if we look up at the power lines, we're going to see there's a transformer box. Um, I'm standing almost directly underneath power lines and my voltage is 0.6 as opposed to 0.006. So it's nearly a hundred times more voltage in my body simply by standing here. Now just to show you an example of being earthed, I've got my rubber sole shoes on. I'm going to kick them off. And now look at my voltage. It's back down to 0 0.014 on bare feet. I, I put on my rubber sole shoes. And now it's gone up to very close to one volt. 0 0.9 volts. I kick off my shoes again. Back down to 0 0.009 volts this time. So that just shows you the effect, the difference between wearing rubber salt juice, which nearly all of us do, and being barefoot on the earth. So as you can see, the amount of voltage in our body changes 
dramatically depending on what we're standing on. Um, being in rubber shoes, we're insulated the whole time, so they're possibly a health hazard. In the old days, we used to wear leather shoes, um, everything was leather sold. Leather is actually conductive, it's a natural product, it gets a bit of moisture in it, it conducts electricity. So more than ever before, we're being insulated from the earth, for one, so we're not getting the, the negative ions coming up from the earth into our body, which has an antioxidant effect. And at the same time, we're not able dis to discharge EMFs that are just in our environment from power lines and places like that. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and follow at Mike Priest ARR for more content like this. Go follow, bro, man. Great information. So, this to all y'all who don't want to listen, what I be telling y'all, the courts and everybody else who in these motherfucking positions. Don't got no jurisdiction. They've been took out of their power. The power has been restored back to the people. The people. We have the power back. Y'all just got to go correct y'all statuses and claim that y'all are alive. You are at the same time concealing information about serious allegations made against the President of the United States, even as your institution also targets his chief political opponent in an unprecedented way. I will never give you the blank check that you want to continue surveilling American citizens in an improper manner. Why would we ever do that? Senator, we're here to talk about reforms today. I did get confirmation that the query... No, we're not. We're here to talk about the reauthorization of Section 702. Why would we reauthorize it, given your track record of abuse and illegal and proper surveillance and political targeting? Why would we do that? Why would it be appropriate for this body to do that? We've made significant reforms in implementing corrective measures. We've seen significant progress as a result of that, Senator. The, uh, so you said that you mentioned early were in fact unintentional. That's what I was just told by my counterpart. That, that, that is an amazing earliest question. It's an earliest question. So your testimony is the 280,000 queries of American citizens was unintentional. And so that's how they were assessed by that team that did the review. I'm not satisfied with that. That's yeah, why I don't believe that at all. I further review, as I announced earlier today. Yeah, I, I, I don't believe that at all. And frankly, we've heard from your agency a thousand, a thousand times, times that you're going to do better. We will do better. You promised that after the abuses of Title I, we'll do better. And we find out that in the meantime, you're illegal query, illegally querying 280,000 American citizens. Now, it's just, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Message, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, people, y'all gonna love me today, man. I told y'all that Tupac distraction, that's all it was. We love Tupac, we love Pop. Okay, but listen, here's what the government did. On October 3rd, 2023, the government put in law that all indigos have to be paid $132,000 a year. It's $25 hundred dollars a week it's eleven thousand dollars a month right okay remember that uh, on october 3rd right remember the fourth they had the blackout they had the tv blackout right they blacked out the tv so nobody won't broadcast it so you wouldn't know they blacked out your phone so they couldn't share that information with you huh that's why they did the blackout on october 4th because on october 3rd remember i told you they gave you back your land in July of 2022 because they took the word African out the peace treaty and they took the word Negro off your birth certificate so that tied you back to this land as the original indigos right so now what they did October 3rd was they set up an account to where every black or indigo person in America files for their real identity back under the 1924 Snyder Act will get a check a year for a hundred and twenty a hundred and thirty three thousand dollars is twenty five hundred dollars a week eleven thousand dollars a month i promise you it's called the snyder app i'm gonna show you some people that's already getting the check so what we have to do is figure out how to get this app or figure out how to get this form and fill it out fill this form out once you fill this form out they're going to give you an id that says indigo right indigo not driver's license, not no United States ID, none of that shit. It's going to say Indigo, right? I'm going to post a video where a lady's already doing it, and she already getting the braid, bro. They're already getting the braid. They got to pay you. The government has to pay you $2,500 a week.
11,000 a month, 134,000 a year. I'm going to show it to you. But in the meanwhile, share this fucking video with your people. Go on Google and look up the Snyder Act. I looked it up last night. Look it up on a laptop. Because once you look it up on a laptop, read the top. Go to the middle of the screen. They got arrows there. It's going to say certain. Click on those arrows and read each one of them. And it's going to tell you how much you're going to be getting paid. Lord have mercy. Let's go, people. You on the clock. Now, what I'm going to say, it is what it is. It's going to be cussing and everything. So, <laughs> it, what up, TikTok? People, people, my people. Every, you know what? Not even my people. Everybody. Open your fucking eyes. We're worrying about everything else but what the hell is going on. Y'all worrying about everything else. You worrying about aliens, Carly. You talking about Young Thug. You worrying about Cardi B. You worrying about everything within a little bit. We about to be a third world country. Everybody is not dealing with the United States anymore. So all these materialistic things and y'all worrying about other people and what they're doing, it don't mean a fucking thing, bro. It don't mean nothing. Have you, at, number one, we on a country that is built by blood, lies, greed, and everything goes You really and truly think something that was built on that is going to last? On top of that, every country is not fucking with us. They're not messing with us. Why? Because we've always been the bullies. Because we always trying to divide people. We trying to divide Africa. We trying to do stuff that we know we ain't got no business doing. At the end of the day, the government, everything that they lied about, everything they kept to themselves, the greed, everything is going to come out. We about to be a third world country and y'all worrying about everything else. Please, y'all, open up y'all eyes. Why do you think all of a sudden they want to come out and say, hey, we really do got aliens? Why are they putting everything else on social media? But what's going on in these other countries? You have to look at you have to look at the news from other countries to see what the hell is going on. Yes. United States being a bully, lying and doing all this, only was gonna last for so long, bro. It was gonna last for so long. And now the internet, this internet thing that you got. That you thought was going to work for y'all. It's working for everybody else. Because now all the truth. Everything is coming about, it's coming out. Y'all. Very, very soon. It about to, it's going to be some shit. They hit the damn fan. And when they hit the fan. Then y'all going to be. Then y'all want to wake up. And, and, and do. No. Why do you think Africa said. Hey. For the, for, the, for the black people. If you're over there in the United States. Y'all want to come over here. Y'all get a lifetime visa. Why? Why would they tell us that? As if they saving us. Why? Think about it. Why do you think these people told us that? I seen somebody up on the statement say, I've been over there a couple of years ago. They, they're corrupt. What you think this is? What do you think this is? United States is built on taking everything from everybody else and keeping it for themselves. That's why we lack knowledge on things. That's why we sit up and we stay. They keep us in the blinds with the news with bullshit. Y'all, we about to be a third world country. We about to not have anything. Why are we still trying to follow a country that's trillions of dollars in debt? Don't even pay nobody, but they want us to pay shit. I don't know what came over me to tell y'all yeah, this, but shit finna really hit the fan, man. And being and, and saying that I'm a a, a, a a U.S. citizen is not gonna mean shit no more. Being American doesn't mean nothing no more. It doesn't mean shit. Message, you know what I'm saying? Look, man. Crap.
crazy in-depth video right here man let me know your favorite part of this video and something new that you've learned man uh and how have your how has your spiritual or your learning journey been you know what i'm saying on these topics that aren't so common from the systems that we came from but i'm happy that we all come together man it'd be hundreds of thousands of people that view these videos individually millions that view the channel every month you know what i'm saying so i'm appreciative towards y'all because what we're doing collectively outweighs anything it outweighs money everything because together we be, we can become great again you know what i'm saying and that's real talk everybody else want to preach divide and this and that this and that we can thrive here and you know what i'm saying spread apart bro it's gonna be it's it's, it's, it's I, I just see it being a disaster you feel me like it's so it's so stupid but uh at the end of the day man you know uh you have to see things from a different perspective in order to get it so that's why you know saying me personally i don't listen to people that have never been outside their city they state and you know what i'm saying I, the country as well because you have to see the you have to sometimes step back in order to see the bigger picture you know you get what i'm saying and you have to have life experiences compiled with knowledge you know what i'm saying so i've traveled the country i've traveled the world and if you live here for people that look like me you would think that the world fucking hates you real talk you would think that the world hates you because of here but when you go to other places they make you think that these other countries hate you but they love you before i was on the internet i was you know i was in the military right and I traveled the world and they didn't know because I was traveling top secret situations. So I had on, you know, regular clothes and stuff. I was just like a little regular citizen, right? But they treated me so well in these other countries. Like you talking about, there's a line. I'm talking about full of white people in New Zealand wrapped around a building. They don't know me from nothing, from a can of paint. These people were so nice, bro. They see me and they were just like, oh my God. You, you, they knew already like where I came from and everything. They didn't know me as an N-word or nothing like that. They knew who we were. They know the original people, like who we were, who we, y'all get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, but I'm gonna tell you, the world is beautiful, man. I have nothing but good stories to tell you about uh, other countries. Real talk, I've been pretty much everywhere and it's beautiful, beautiful people everywhere. It's not what you see on the news. It's not what you see on the news. I just have to tell you all that, real talk, it's only here most of the corruption, all the shootings of my people and stuff like that. <laughs> Real talk. But, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Everybody's been in wars and, you know, most of the calamities that happen in other countries is not because of them. Y'all know who it's because. <laughs> and you have to wonder why we're in the predicament we're in. But at the end of the day, man, we got to come together and get this shit together. But look, I love y'all. Make sure y'all share these videos with your friends and families. Make sure you're doing your own research. You know what I'm saying? And I'll see you on the next video. Like I always say, I've been saying this since I started YouTube. Go back to my first videos. Spread love because there's too much hate in this world. Love you guys. See you on the next video. And I'm out though. Blah.